Good morning. May God's grace, peace, and love be with all of us. Let's talk today about a sacred responsibility. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17 and 18 says, Come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Sacred Responsibility Many times when we don't know God, we make mistakes in raising our children. And even when we do know God, we still make mistakes in raising our children. For many of us, there is still time to correct our mistakes. And God has given us guidance about this. When parents and children meet at the final reckoning, what a scene will there be? Thousands of children who have been slaves to appetite and debasing lives, whose lives are a moral wreck, will stand face to face with their parents who made them what they are. Who but the parents must bear this fearful responsibility? Did the Lord make this youth corrupt? Oh no. Who then has done this fearful work? Were not the sins of the parents transmitted to the children in perverted appetite and passions? And was not the work completed by those who neglected to train them according to the pattern which God has given? Just as surely as they exist, all these parents will pass in review before God. Satan is ready to do his work. He will not neglect to present allurements which the children have no will or moral power to resist. Through his temptations, he is instituting ever-changing fashions and attractive parties and amusements that mothers may be led to devote their time to frivolous matters instead of the education and training of their children. Are you need mothers who will teach them from the cradle to control passion, to deny appetite, and to overcome selfishness. They need line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. Women should fill the position which God originally designed it for her as her husband's equal. The world needs mothers who are mothers not merely in name, but in every sense of the word. We must safely say that the distinctive duties of women are more sacred, more holy than those of men. The counsel for Christian mothers is that we realize our responsibility and live not to please ourselves, but to glorify God. Christ pleased not himself, but took upon him the form of a servant. He left the royal courts and clothed his divinity with humanity, that by his own example he might teach us how we may be exalted to the positions of sons and daughters in the royal family, children of the heavenly king. Our responsibility, the responsibility of parents towards their children, is great. We need to teach our children that everything in this life has rules and laws, that every action has a reaction. To give our children all that they want is to give to them eternal destruction. To say no is to say yes to their salvation. Many times, to say no is to bring them before the Father, and saying yes places them in connection with Satan. May we understand this message and take from our children all that leads them to destruction, so that we together as a family might be received before the presence of the Father, being considerate sons and daughters of God. May we, when we meet our children at the day of reckoning, find 
that they are placing their crowns at our feet and thanking us for their salvation instead of being a scene of horror. May God have mercy on us and forgive our mistakes and help us to correct from now on. May our children be saved despite our failures. Until tomorrow, may God be with you today.